Guatemala is full of wonderful traditions, and one of the best parts of my job in the Peace Corps is when I'm invited to participate in them. In the mountains of Quetzaltenango, where I live, one tradition is to make a type of tamale with potato called paches de papa for special occasions. My health center recently held an important meeting, and I was invited to help make paches with my coworkers. The process begins by boiling peeled potatoes. We were making more than 100 paches this day, so we had quite a few potatoes to boil. After boiling for about 20 to 30 minutes, you check to see if the potatoes are fork tender. Then they are drained and mashed and mixed with butter. A sauce made from a blended mix of guaque chile, tomato, tomatillo, sesame seeds, onion, garlic, salt, and assorted spices is then mixed in by hand. The potato mixture is then packed into the leaves of the machan plant, a plant common to this part of Central America, although banana leaves can also be used. To the mixture, you can add whatever kind of meat or protein, though cubed chicken is the most common. The final touch will be the addition of a small pepper to give the pache a spicy kick. Once the paches are wrapped up, they are packed into a pot filled with a little bit of water and placed over a wood fire to steam. The smoke from the fire will give the paches a slight hint of smoke, which adds extra depth of flavor. After steaming for about 15 to 20 minutes, they are done and ready to be enjoyed. It is traditional to serve them with a slice of white bread and a cup of Guatemalan coffee. I was very grateful to be invited to help with making these and to be part of something traditional to my community. Perhaps the best part of making paches is that it is something that can be done together with friends and family. It's a group effort and everyone is able to enjoy the rewards of their hard work. The sense of community from this one small activity is deep and profound. And that sense of community is something that I've truly come to appreciate in my time in Guatemala so far.